nine Mississippi. Ten Mississippi. I'm doing that so I know how long it takes for my mic to get picked up. Cause sometimes it don't do that. Okay, I gotta make it private and then make it public on my channel later. Did it do it? Yep. All right. So no one come in. <laughs> it is. It's just us. It's just us. I mean, some people could stumble upon this on my channel later. I did it, but for those who do, hello, welcome to me, Fox Tales. Fox, you know. We just live in our lives as a detective. We're not very good at the stealthy. No, no, we're not. Shooting, I, I, I go in guns blazing, that's a problem. <laughs> Covers for losers. <laughs> six months later, I got, oh my god, so I got promoted to homicide and it's six months later? Wow. Oh, I guess I didn't notice that. I know the werewolf, This I saw this part, but I must have missed the six months later thing. Gentlemen, take your seats. Let's get this over before lunch. Clyde Rose at the Homicide Squad has decided to take early retirement. We will all miss Floyd and the steely edge he brought to his police work. The department has arranged a wee drink at the Galway Arms to quench the mighty thirst a man gets from 25 years of police work. Floyd's departure leaves a place at the top table. And the chief has seen fit to promote Cole Phelps from burglary to the homicide desk. Stand up, Phelps. Take a chair. No, oh, so there's a burglary. In You're in the I... major leagues now, Sonny. And then we went. Rusty okay. Galloway, a fine lawman of the old school, will be taking you under his wing. Your first case is the murder of a woman found last night and bearing all the signs of the werewolf. Get out to the scene, lads. Oh. The werewolf. Rusty! Rust! Rusty! I don't remember your last name. Rusty! I want my brother. My Do partner. you have the address? It's been all over KGPL. It's off Temple Street, between Belmont and Glendale. Um, okay. You're not gonna like me, are you? But we'll be best friends. The veteran. I'd rather you took the wheel. Oh. Oh, okay. What if I told you to do it yourself? I'm not gonna. Oh, sweet Jesus. Woo! Any central unit, car 16 L reports a possible jumper at 8th and What happened to Rose? Parker wants the chief's job. Word is it's either gonna be him or Thad Green. So they're both clearing the decks. So where does that leave you, Galloway? <gasps> oh, Leaves me saddled with a chump like you, Phelps. Oh, chump. I didn't ask for you, and I don't want you, so keep it to yourself. Oh, Jesus. See if you can learn something about seeing how a real cop operates. Oh, wow. What did he mean by the werewolf? The Dahlia. The Daily News Dahlia. came out calling him the werewolf killer. The examiner came up with the Black Dahlia. We any closer to catching him? Not a chance. Six months and hundreds of guys running down leads, and we got nothing. You don't think this has anything to do with it? No, I don't. Why so many women this year? Because of the war. You should know that. Guy gets to kill people every day in combat. Comes home, he's expected to take lip from his wife. What do you think's gonna happen? Oh, it's that simple. Like I said, most of the time it is. Yeah, nobody's ever saw the Black Dahlia murder today. Nobody knows. Unless somebody, an old timer, dies and is like, It me, I did it! Alright, 
Someone don't jump, sir! Oh, my god. Don't do it! I'll do it! No, don't! So help me, God, I'll jump! It gets better! You get up there. Let me do the talking. Everyone says that. It's I true, know a though. Ton of this psychology stuff. You take the back alley and find I a miss, way up. I miss case. It's true. It gets better. Come on, Phelps. Let's get moving. I've never gotten to that point, but I've been in some bad That's situations. Like, uh, sure you me before you do. One college was pretty bad. Know. That was bad, but it got better. Don't worry. It, yeah, it was kind of. It was a little dicey. What? Not gonna lie. That was probably my worst, lowest point ever. My life. One of my lows. Don't kick you me in the face. You think you can hold you, Rusty? I'll bring you down with me, Phelps. Oh, God. That was TMI, but you know, it happened. You know, we all go through low points, you know? And it does. It gets better. Come on, it does. It's, sometimes it's hard to believe. But, but I don't want you to slap on my shoes. Are, are you crazy? What are you trying to do? I remember my first jumper. Could have soaked him up with a sponge. This what you wanted? I can't do it. Can't do I it. just. I'll come quietly. Just. I need some help. Please. Uh -oh. You gotta get me some help. We'll get you some help. You're a danger to yourself and to others. Get some need some help. Everybody needs a little help, and that's okay. It's okay to not be okay. Woo, we saved that man's life. this. Holy F, that car was fast. Woo! Thank you for pulling forward. Through this intersection. Okay, how about now? Straight on. Okay. You need to turn left at the next junction. Okay, thanks, Rusty. Get on the straight, lady! Through this intersection. Okay. I'm sorry, officer, I'm not helping. You don't need to turn here. Oh, what do you think I'm gonna do? Go, 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 forward! That's your fault. You didn't get out of my way. Thank you. God, I could have just killed all of y'alls there. The papers is here. How about a scoop for the examiner, Galloway? You Galloway. could use some good press. Another tramp, another message. Is the werewolf back in business, boys? Do you have a mother, asshole? A sister? How about showing some respect for this poor woman? Let us do our job, and Detective Galloway will give you a statement later. He's good, Rusty. He even sounds genuine. That's Phelps, guys. 
the war hero, defending the honor of murdered humps. You're used to it, Phelps. Move it along, guys. You got your pictures, you got your headlines. Now scram. <laughs> Pretty much said, kiss your mother without mouth? Oh, God. Okay, so footprints. Oh fuck. Oh fuck, she's naked. Oh god. He raped her, didn't he? Trollman, oh, this your beat? Yes, sir. Well, part of it. Kids park here, they use it like a lover's lane. It's a working neighborhood. Some trouble, but nothing like this. Oh, Jesus. It's uh, known locally as the Moors. You were first on the scene? Yes, detective. No one's disturbed the body? No, sir. We cleared out them vulture reporters so Pinker and the coroner could work. They're waiting to talk to you. Go house to house and see what you come up with. Oh, y'all walked up right over What it. can you tell me about the shoe prints? Men's size eights. Pinker lifted impressions for me to compare back at the lab. Has the scene been secured? The Troman Houlihan saw to it. The victim's personal effects are still where they fell. Cause of death? Oh my Could be God. the head injuries. She has been badly stomped. The cuts look superficial. I'll, I'll know for sure in a... What caused the blunt force injury to the face? Oh, Jesus. Could be anything from a baseball bat to a lug wrench. I'll have more details after the autopsy. What's the writing on the victim mean? BD, like Dahlia? Dahlia. Tex? Your guess is as good as mine. Could be something to it, or it could be the killers trying to throw you off the scent. Either way, I'll run tests on the lipstick. Any idea of the time of death? From the temperature, I'd say after midnight. I'll confirm with you later. Fuck. What about this wound on the finger? Something ring. removed. A ring, most likely. I assume it was taken oh, I wear a ring on my middle finger. Not my right hand, not on my left. I've worn it forever. Jesus. Hmm. Interesting. Ragnar. Where the fuck is A? There's B. Oh. Looks like some kind of puzzle or parlor game. steal a table lighter. Why leave it? That's a sick ass lighter though, let's be honest. Uh, a mirror, we'll look at the mirror first.
Guess what? Guess that ain't nothing but a brush. No secret switchblade or anything. The victim's bag? Oh, was it used to write? No. Nope. Looks brand new. Yeah, it was. Can't be the one used to... on the body. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. We get to the bomba. Nope. Man could die of thirst in a case like this. That's all the clues, huh? So, dragged her, got out of the car. Obviously, dragged her there. But there's not enough blood in that spot for her to be completely like. That's what happened. Like he beat her there. There's not tons of blood. I say let's take the coror coroner's car. Alright, let's go to the Bamba! Are we sure that lighter was just... Who carries that lighter around with them? Like, honestly. Try and not have a big bill. The werewolf? Through this intersection. For my money, a copycat. We can't rule it out. We need to work the evidence. <laughs> You'd love that, wouldn't you? A big head to hang on your wall. Caller of the decade. You've been working evidence from BD case for six months and got nicked. There's a difference, Rusty. Oh, yeah? I just started working it today. Okay, odd shot. <laughs> What's more likely? The werewolf comes back around, leaving us unknown in the corpse? He clearly has a thing for power. Power over women. Why not power over the police department as well? Let me finish, Phelps. A guy opens his mouth again after six months of stooping. Or some opportunist who's been reading about the BD figures, he'll rip off the M.O. and get himself a freebie. Yeah. That's not totally fantastical. You know, the examiner in the Daily News might be good at coming up with monikers, but they're terrible for police work. There's a reason we didn't get the son of a bitch after the short murder. It was them, locusts. Where do you think the werewolf killer is now? Uh, dead by his own hand, stationed somewhere else with the armed forces. San Quentin, another town, another country, who knows? So Phelps, I understand you want to turn this into a big case, but it doesn't work like that, all right? A case will come and find you. you. Can't make it something it ain't, understand? So you don't think the werewolf has continued to operate in the Los Angeles area? No chance. We would have found him. Yeah, the Lost Diet case is really interesting. Stay on this road. Ah! Out of the way, civilians! Civilians! Out of the way! Take the next right. Oh, damn it. Oh, that was a love tap. Oh, she saw him hands on her hips. Ma'am, it wasn't me. Keep on going through here. God, this place is so big. Straight ahead. Oh, holy hell! We're that, taking the next left. That's what I thought. Okay. This place is so freaking ginormo. Sir, watch where you're walking! Gentlemen, me, sir. what can I get you? Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Were you working here last night? Yes. How can I help, officer? You can start with your name. Garrett Mason. You're the regular bartender on nights? I'm a temporary barman. I work for an agency. 
I fell in at bars across town. Do you remember a woman who came in here last night? Uh, five feet seven, about 110 pounds, blonde hair, about 40 years of age. You mean Celine Henry? Yes. Do you know anything about her? I don't. But the owner, Mr. McCall, serves her most nights. Would you like to speak to him? I would. He sits at the back of the club. Where's the hibiscus? You can't miss him. Is there anything else? Fire away, Phelps. I'll no. stay here. I'm a little parched. Pour me three fingers of rye. Suspicious. You all seem you suspicious. It was all of y'all together. Hello, My sister. Eggs running. Detective Phelps, LAPD. We're investigating the murder of Celine Henry. Do you know her? Celine? Going to pay for that? Oh, Christ. I'm a house officer. Sure, I know her. She and I and Jacob, her husband, we go way back. She was here last night? Sure, she's a regular. Celine is. was a lovely woman. Was Mrs. Henry here with anyone last night? Not at first. Celine already had quite a head start. But she attracted attention? Certainly. A few gentlemen became very enamored with her and her stories. One guy in particular. You know him? No. He's been in a couple of times. Did they leave together? Yes, at around 11. If it helps, I made the guy's license plate. Where's that I think this could be a great help, sir. Thank you. Hmm. Got a trophy for looking at that. Mrs. Henry appeared to be missing a ring, torn from her finger, but not her wedding finger. Celine always wore a red garnet ring. On the large side, larger than life, like Celine herself. Did she have it a long time? Sure. Since way back in her flying days. Did her husband buy it for her? No, it was, uh, it was before Jacob. Oh, that was a weird. That's a fucking I weird. think you know where the ring came from, and I think yeah. you're going to tell me. Okay. I bought it years ago. I carried a torch for Celine in those days. Oh. Guess I always have. Her old man never knew about it. You know the husband? Sure I know Jacob. He was in the Corps. He met Celine on a furlough and married her when the war was finished. He put up with a load of shit. Hmm. Do you think he killed his wife? No. No, not in my opinion. I don't know, man. Um, okay. You know the husband? Sure, I know Jacob. He was in the Corps. He met Celine on a furlough and married her when the war was finished. He put up with a load of shit. Hmm. Do you think he killed his wife? No. No, not in my opinion. So if it wasn't Jacob, then you probably let her out of here with the guy who killed her. How do you feel about that? Stow the attitude, will you? I tried to get on to Jacob. I rang him up, asked him to come pick her up like usual. But oh. he refused. And she picked some night to push him over the edge. I rang him back around 11.30, but got no answer. Thanks, Mr. McColl. You've been a big help. One more thing. Would you have an address for Celine? 142 North Union Avenue. God knows I had to send her home in enough cabs to remember that. Jeez. She drank a lot, huh? Ronnie. Excuse me. What's up, bitches? You drinking? He drove me up to Mojave. Where's the freaking phone? Hello? Let's get out of here. Where's the phone? Hey, what's the hurry? My stool was just starting to warm up nicely. What was that? So, uh, how's your tuna fish salad? 
I don't think so. Oh, that was weird. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phyllis! Cole the, Phelps, batch 1247. The truest partner, Phyllis. How could I help, detective? I need a registered owner on a license plate, 2boy8899. Yes, detective. I'll need to contact the DMV. Shall I relay the details via KGPL? Yas. Please. Thanks for your help. Come. Say, honey, what time did you get off waiting table? There isn't a waitress, sir. What the fuck? Where's my car? Is this our car? No. <laughs> Have you been waiting here this whole time? Go around! Go around! Go around! You find the booze helps you get through a working day? Sharpens my investigatory instincts, fellas. Probably drinks a A smart shit. lawyer might use that to throw out anything you collect today. A smart man might know it's unwise to stand between the patient and his medicine. As long as you're not falling over, Rusty, I'll let it slide. <laughs> That's mighty kind of you, Phelps. You know, you picked the wrong job with a healthy thirst offends you, Cole. We owe it to this city to do the best we can in this position. As homicide detectives, that responsibility is all the more serious. Always the politician. It's not political, it's practical. Maybe the men combing Hollywood Boulevard after the Elizabeth Short murder were more interested in sniffing out booze than the clues that would have led to her killer. Yeah, it's well, crazy. if only you'd been there, choir boy. Betty Short would be alive, the Japs would have spared Pearl Harbor. Oh, Jesus. Our ancestors uh, wouldn't have tasted the forbidden said, fruit. Them Minor that. some tactical error, Detective Galloway. Well, I never time. claimed to be able to prevent crimes. I only suggested Still a proficiency right. in solving them. Yes, oh, that's that the hell? drink slowing you down. Oh my god, brother, oh brother. Worse than I could ever have imagined. All units, officer, do you tell him to allow Oh, he ain't getting the help. Sorry. Broadway, yeah, let's be short. Who she wanted to be a star, and then she unfortunately. Around to the right. She gets. Famous for that. Move, citizens, civilians, citizens, residents. Woo! Woo! That was my own fault. That car did not move. Shit. Rusty didn't even react because he's so smashed. He was like, eh. Okay, at the next corner, hang a right. Okay. Okay, so go left at the next one. I'll need a new mailbox. I'm just saying. You're gonna need some paint on the house. I'll try the back door. Wait here a second. We can't just break on in. Oh, there is a break in. Oh, shit. Oh, shit.
Side window's been jimmied. Looks like somebody's creeped the joint. Oh, God. It's probably the murderer. A paper. Family burnt to death. I'm saved fast. This was suspicious. Jesus! Husband, wife, two young children. Oh, my God. I'm sad. You said I had to go back, doctor. Fires are cathartic. They allow you to confront your past. You said the house would be empty. Are you taking the medication I have prescribed? You said the house would be empty. I heard them screaming. The circumstances were unfortunate. Oh my god. My colleagues you had made all the necessary arrangements. You said the house would be empty. You're killing me. The deaths were unfortunate. But you have dealt with death before. I want you to come to the clinic and we can deal you with You said the house would be empty! How can I find peace? Oh fuck. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. So that doctor is really nuts. Even more than I thought. No, Rusty! Rusty boop! Oh, what at? A key. Circumstantial. Well, it's a key! Keys are always important. Chase. I'm so hungry. A new thing. Oh, a shoe! What at? Size nines. Above average for a lady. Shut up! That's what I wear! Oh! Cool! That was so mean! It was so rude! I can't help that! What was that? What was that? Nothing. What about this? No. Y'all be drinking. What about here? I s do it! Burglar used the pry bar. Why did you kick the door in? You think I'm gonna climb through a broken window in a $30 suit? You got another thing <laughs> coming, Buster. Oh yeah, there's a right above the, on the pane right there. Jimmy did it. Shit it. Alright. Next. Alright. Anywhere else? Oh. If you sober up, you can find me in apartment too. So Lynn and Jacob are obviously having problems. It speaks to motive. Oh, she drunk as a skunk. Crime scene evidence still weighs against it being the husband, but Jacob could give us something to go on. If one of my exes drank like this, you'd be feeling the back of my hand. God, Call in burglary and get technical services out here. Fucking terrible. I'll talk to the neighbors. Uh, Don't take all day about it, Phelps. I get nasty when I'm thirsty. God. I'm so glad times have changed. Galloway, homicide, badge number 564. Don't think this is anything. Oh, it's a hairdryer. Oh. <laughs> for suspected 459 at 142 North Union. I'm guessing there's something over there because it's very well lit. Regular Amelia Earhart in her day. The ring looks distinctive. Hmm. Tiffany? Oh, the rest of the stuff is junk. Might explain the missing ring. Wow, Tiffany. It's like the one at the crime scene. I don't think this is going to help us. It's similar to the one at the crime scene! God, I know what I'm doing. Oh wait, should we look at his shoes? There's a certain size there. That, oh, that was all the clues, wasn't it? That sound. Okay. Ah. Okay. So I need to talk to the nabars. Oh, hello, nabar. Oh, no, we'll 
Ugh. What the fuck was that? Neighbor! around here anymore LAPD are you acquainted with Celine Henry Miss Horgan Jennifer Horgan Horgan I've known Celine for more than 10 years our children grew up together oh she did what's going on officer did you see Mrs. Henry go out last night well I'm no busybody you understand but Celine had been drinking and she and poor long-suffering Jacob had a terrible row row I think Who's Jacob may have given her a black eye. Oh, fuck. He stormed out and she went back inside. Did he come back? No. Celine was listening to music and shouting until she left around 10 p.m. She was very drunk to have been driving. But she is not the sort of person you can stop from doing something when her dander is up. Hmm. What is this about, officer? Is Celine all right? I'm afraid Mrs. Henry has been murdered, ma'am. Murdered? Oh, my God. I'm afraid I need to go and, and sit down. I'm sorry, ma'am. Thanks for your information. So, Jacob hit her. Jesus, let's arrest his ass right now. God, we'd be arresting all y'all's asses. Let's see what Jacob has to say for himself. I don't think Jacob is our man, but we should see what he has to say. Never okay. Jacob Henry had a violent argument with his wife last night. He's looking more and more likely. Ah, uh, for my money, if the broad keeps the house looking like that, she's probably deserved it. <gasps> the skipper says bring him in and keep the hacks off her backs for a while. Fine by me. So it ain't the werewolf killer after all. Good to oh. see you've come to Oh, did you see that? Like I always said mm -hmm. work the evidence. I only stipulated a connection to the BD killer as an avenue of investigation we should leave open. And as far as I'm concerned, it still is. Turn back, we're going the wrong way. What? My ass, we're going the wrong way. Turn left at this one here. There we go. Wee -woo, wee -woo. Oh boy, nobody come through the intersection. Nobody do it. Okay. Oh, there it is. Ah! Oh, I took out a light pole. Y'all, I'm sorry. We cutting through the back road. Okay, Phelps, we go in hard. You follow my lead. Oh, fuck. Okay. Did you read about the woman who stabbed her husband in the face with some of that? I have my gun out and ready. You Jacob Henry? Yeah. Who's asking? LAPD. You're under arrest for the murder of your wife, Celine Henry. Murder? Celine? Save the dramatics oh, oh my for RKO, pal. You got bigger problems. What the hell are you talking about? You, you come in here, you, you tell me that Celine is... Take a seat, Mr. Henry. That she's... We're going to have a look around, uh, then we'll talk. Jesus, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, I don't think he did it. It's made to look like he did it. We'll see about your shoes. What was that? I get even the slightest hint that you're a flight risk, pal. The alcohol. It would take a smarter man than me to connect that. No! His wife is an alcoholic! He's trying to help her, it looks like! Idiot. You're s Yeah, you're not that smart. Oh, check the trash! You think the atmosphere's thick in here? Wait till you try the gas chamber. Oh. Oh, what's this? 
He'll be back any moment. Just sit back. Anymore. Ooh, this is kind of fun. The oldest problem there is what to do about the old lady. Size elevens. That's not the crime scene, is it? Oh, I guess we have. To, oh, they. We don't know. I thought it was. Oh, she was a nine. Oh, that's it. I guess. They'll tell me if they're size elevens, right? Hello, Jacob. So who could have killed Celine? Where did she go last night, Jacob? <laughs> a bar, I suppose. Look, I don't know. Oh, please. You know where she went, Jacob. You're lying. Where? Why would I help you if you keep lying to me? Look, I'm Lullaby. telling you, I don't know. Um, you do know. Yeah, they said they called you. We know she went to the Bamba Club. <sighs> the bartender there. He calls me if things are getting out of hand, and I go, and I bring her home. He called me last night. I said no. Mm -hmm. Phone rang a couple more times after that. I ignored it. Now you should know. I'm going to have to live with that. <laughs> when did you last see your wife, Mr. Henry? Last night, uh, I went to see her. We talked. Things got a little out of hand. I left. That's true, though. Um, that's true. That's what that's you don't remember what time you last saw your wife alive? Look, I'm sorry. I left. Maybe 9 p.m. Might have been a little later, but... Right around nine. Why did you kill her, Jacob? Things will go better if you come clean about it. That's a lousy thing to say. I never gave up on my wife. Well, that note says otherwise. I don't believe you, Jacob. I think you didn't have the guts to do it yourself, so you had someone else do it. You want to back that up with something, Big Mouth? Huh? That note. Where is it? No, 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 no. That's it. The note by the phone suggests you meant her harm. You want the truth? The truth is I was sick to death of her. Oh, shit. I was trying to have her committed. We're still going to need you to come downtown, Mr. Henry. We can get this all down on paper, Jacob. How you got fed up with your wife and how you figured killing her would bury all your troubles. Kill my own wife? She was a loss of the trap, and you just couldn't stand it anymore. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> so now you're going to tell me you loved her? Ah, the DA goes all gooey over remorse, Jacob. Oh, shit. Oh, butt's box. Okay. I forgot how to fight. Let's just leave it at that. I forgot how to fight. Fuck. What's this bunkin'? What the fuck? <laughs> Why can't I fight? You're not being rational. Oh, I'm not holding L2. You're all <laughs> I have to hold L2. It's like, why can't I fight? I forgot how to fight. Got him. 
Oh, Jesus. I was like, why can't I hit anything? I have to hold Call it in you. and get a squad car dispatched. And check for messages. I'll keep old Slugger here company. Mm -hmm. Oh, I guess you want me to go? <laughs> I guess I do everything in this game. Nobody else is getting promotion. Operator, give me dispatch. Now. Thanks, Phyllis. Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need a patrol unit to transport a suspect back to Central. Certainly, Detective. You have a message from the coroner. Do you wish to be put through? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Carruthers. It's Phelps. I've completed the autopsy. Several wounds to the head from a blunt metal instrument. Closest match would be a socket wrench handle. So the cause of death was the blunt? No, the blows to the head surprisingly were not fatal. Death was from hemorrhage and shock from the fractured ribs and multiple injuries caused by the stomping. Anything else? He's some kind of sex fiend. The tissues of the anus were bruised about one-eighth of an inch, but no trace of semen in the anus, vagina, or stomach. Thanks, Doc. Operator, give me R&I. Any word on an owner for that vehicle? License was 2Boy8899? Yes, Detective. The plate belongs to a brown 1936 Pontiac. Registered owner is one Alonzo Mendez of 402 mm. South Fremont Street, apartment 16. Hmm. Thanks. Any other messages? One, Detective. From Captain Donnelly. He wants any and all suspects returned to Central. Interviews to be set up immediately. Oh. Got it. We're coming in. Okay. Bye. You get a couple of good hits in, sir. All right. Well, we'll go to the police station, and then we'll go catch the bit. I can smell that. I think I can. Oh, the most popular songs in the land. KTI Radio. Alright. Carruthers said she took a real pounding. Guess what? Woo! Maybe if he had been a little firmer in the beginning, he wouldn't be in this situation now. God. I imagine that Neanderthal routine is a big hit with the ladies, Galloway. Yeah, I know, right? Jesus. Women love me, Phelps. Uh -huh, I have sure. no complexity. They know exactly what they're going to get. That's true, but still. Ugh. Oh, hopefully my pride box is coming soon. Let's see what it looks like. Also needs help. 211 and shots fired. 391 Broadway, Mallory's Cafe. 391. Oh, oh, look how close that was. Oh. Oh. No, I can't help because we here. Oh, fudge crackers. Oh. oh, my God. And after I play those, I can play Batman, the enemy within. We have a firm lead, Captain. Are you questioning my judgment, Cole Phelps? No, sir. Good. I thought not. I'm not. Jacob Henry is a subsister pushed around by his wife. I think with the right kind of persuasion, he might be prepared to seek absolution. Are you prepared to show him the error of his ways, young Phelps? I don't think he's our man. Yeah. Galloway agrees with me. Don't drag me into this. Rusty is a practical policeman. A bird in hand has always worked two in the bush. Let's liberate a confession from poor Jacob and the public will sleep easier tonight. Run along now, folks. Uh, uh, I've uh, warmed them up nicely for you. Uh, but I don't think it's him. I don't think so either. But what do I know? I'm just a police Doesn't officer. Good, Jacob. You're in a big jam here. Close the door. You lie to me and I can't help you Close out. Do you understand me? Yes.
What do you do for work, Jacob? I'm a mechanic. Oh, shit. Engines, differentials, transmissions, that kind of stuff. So you have access to tools? Yes, I do. Your wife was brutally beaten with a socket wrench handle, oh. then stomped to death. How do you think that looks, Jacob? I, I was uh, home in bed. No, they called you and you, and your alibi is full of shit, otherwise. Jacob. Yeah. The truth is you hated that bitch. You followed her and dragged her into the car and then took her out to the moors. She woke up and you smashed her face in with a socket no. wrench. No, 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 no. And then you stomped no. her. You stomped her because she's a drunken whore and she what? treated you like shit. You stomped her for all the years you had to take it. You stomped her because you are such a weak fucking sister, Jacob, and you wanted to erase all memory of it. Go on. Try to deny it. I was at home. I should have gone to her at the bar, but I didn't. You can't prove I wasn't home. I can. The bar owner, McCall, gave you up. He called your house right at the time that someone was smashing Celine's skull in and got no answer. If we find that socket wrench, you're gonna fry. Get it off your chest. Tell me you killed her. I killed her, all right. I killed her dreams. She was an aviator, famous in her day, flying around up there like a I was bird. Say, oh shit, he did do it. But she never wanted to come back down. You know, my pop was a sod farmer, dirt poor. I joined the Corps, trained to be a mechanic. I did better than my father did. I worked hard for it. It's all you can ask of a man. But Celine, she never wanted to come down from the clouds. She wanted everything I couldn't give her. All I had was security. That was never going to be enough. You did it. Everything points to you. What does Tex mean, Jacob? I don't know what you're talking about. I think you're telling the truth. Oh. I need a reason to believe Holy you, fuck. Jacob. Like, I don't you know. want a confession? That's what you want? That's exactly what we want. When'd you get in here? Seems to me there are two types of marriages. The first, where the couple love each other equally and everything's roses. And then there's the other. But one person loves the other more than life itself and always puts them first. Chumps like me, who love them no matter what, no matter how badly they behave. That's it. That's my confession. I love my wife. And I'll take any test you got to prove it. Your marriage was over. You took her in and she threw it back in your face. You didn't go over there to hurt her. It just got out of hand. It's not how it was. You're lying, Jacob. It was falling apart and things got violent. I'm not lying. I'm telling you how it was. Jenny Horgan says you blackened her eye. It's all right, Jacob. The DA will understand. In your shoes, I would have done exactly the same thing. I hit her. All right? Jesus. I'm not proud of it, but she was coming at me with a frying pan. What would you do? I took it for years, but sometimes a man can only take so much. Oh God, you two are just not in a good relationship then. <laughs> Why did you break into your wife's house, Jacob? Why steal the ring? What? What are you talking about? I I've got a key. Why would I need to break in? You took the ring because you found out who gave it to her. What are you talking about? Her prized garnet ring, given to her by her old boyfriend, Dick McCall. I never knew that. I lived with that woman for three years, and I never knew that. Well, in that case, 
I think you should be talking to Dick McCall. We'll do the detective work, Lunkhead. Just answer the questions. I'll see what I can do for you, Jacob. But I'm not promising. It still looks bad for you. Phelps, you failed me, son. What? We have another lead, Captain. This guy Mendez could be our man. I hope so, Phelps. I really hope so. I'm deeply disturbed by your style of police work. Shit. Jesus. Y'all just doubting my ass. We can still pull down a conviction for the skipper if we chase down this Mendez guy. Okay, I guess I'm driving. Hey, I wasn't near you, bitch. Ooh, you some hot dogs? Hey, back off, man. Swing left. Oh, shit. Stop. You're going straight here. You go on safe, drive safely. Go left, just now. No, I can't go left. Ho, 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 keep LA safe, drive safe. That wasn't me. Oh, those people's eyes flashed before their eyes. Oh, God. Keep on going. Drive safely as I run a year at light. Alonzo Mendez. Sound like a man who moonlights as the, the werewolf? Don't sound like a man I'd let my daughter anywhere near. You've got a daughter. Spend enough time drinking, Cole, you'll find- All units in the vicinity in any century unit. A 211 is- We'll handle this, it's right here. Tables are turned now, haven't they, boys? Hey, look, old man, we're sorry. Just quit shooting. The hell I will. I'm getting pretty tired of losing my weekly take to you punks. It'll last long in a tin shack. What the fuck are they? God damn it, they went down there. Okay. $30. Reinforcements are on the way. Cease and desist. You bitch. Ugh. I thought they would. I almost got hit by a train. I just realized. This is car 11K. Shots fired at South Flower Street, Scott's Garage. It's code four here, but suspect is down. I need an ambulance and coroner. Let us go. Jeez. Go right, just now. What? We can't go right, you idiot. You dumb dumb. Keep on going oh, through it's here. Right 
Alright, which apartment you in? 16. Mendez, apartment 16. Here, the apartment's up on the top floor. All right, this is the fourth. Oh God. All right, fourteen. Don't bother knocking. Just kick the door in. Take a look around and see what you can find. Tell me anything. It's nothing. It's a nice apartment. There's a gun, but she wasn't shot. Not much help. Pretty big. Consistent with Celine's injuries. Yeah. The blood can be typed. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh, I'm sick. Brothers could match the color and brand of the body. We have the murder weapon. We better get Pinker down here. Why keep it? Why not throw it away? Think these clowns are geniuses? Thank your stars you caught a break. Captain Donald would begin to like you. Hey, what gives? LAPD, you're under arrest. Do not lose oh, that son of a bitch. I'll go get our wheels. Where is he? You go this way? Oh, yeah, he did. Mendez, go. stop right there. Uh, sir! Sir, stop it! Oh my god, 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 oh my god. You don't need to do this, Alonzo! You went that way. That way! I'll jump it! Is he getting in a car? Oh, hell no! Get in and drive. Oh, fuck yes. Alright, let's go. Oh, bitch, I'm after a murderer! Oh, he's gonna sharp turn it! Oh! I thought you would. I knew you would. Oh. Oh, hell no. Oh, I can't! This bitch is crying and driving nuts! Oh my god, oh my god, this car is terrible. Oh, he, he. Oh, me too! Where'd he go? This way. Okay. Oh. oh my god, 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 this car has no acceleration! Bitch, you. Hit him! Don't Clean this asshole off the I'm... road! Ah! I'll try to shoot out his tires. Okay. Wish me luck. There you go. Woo! Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. You're under arrest for the murder of Celine Henry. We flipped that. Put your hands in the air! <laughs> we flipped him. <laughs> Holy bacholis. Got your ass. Bye! I ain't saying a goddamn thing. Yeah, big. You did a grand job, lads. Phelps, that's quite a way to acquit yourself in your first outing as a homicide investigator. 
It seems the city has a new and vengeful guardian. Considering the evidence against your suspect and the thoroughness with which a report was compiled, I foresee a safe passage through the courts, and the DA agrees with me. Right. Brutality on a scale such as this deserves retribution. The people and the press of this city demand it. Oh, ah, loser, you don't get one. God, and I did everything. Oh, I missed a clue? What? Oh, shit. Oh, okay. You know what? That light pole is left to mourn while Mendez waits for lockup. Is it from the DA? I missed a clue? I don't know, man. That's higher than I Pretty suspicious. Oh. We're going to the jazz club. We can go see Elsa sing. To cool the lava you pump through my veins. Cause I'm burning. I'm burning up for you. Galloway. Got it, Skipper. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'll bring him. He's my partner, after all. <laughs> what have we got? New case. White female dumped in plain sight in the grass at the end of Hill Street. Hacks are all over it. Captain's trying to fend him off. That sounds awfully similar. The first rule of police work is make no assumptions until you've seen the evidence. Yeah. Skipper wants you to have your newspaper face on, college boy. I think I know the place where they found the lady. It overlooks Sunset Boulevard. Let's go. Well, you're gonna drive. Mary <laughs> says I'll sing. Let's go. Woo, we're so eager. Let's go. Da -da 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 Oh, he won't let me drive. Oh, my God. Hurry up. You did a decent job on the Henry case, Phelps. Not bad for your first time at bat. Thanks, Rusty. But don't go getting ahead of yourself. That's one clearance under your belt. Now it's a new day with a new dead lady that needs our attention. No assumptions until we see the evidence, right? Right. Got an itch on my eye. See, I, I can't knew you see. Were okay. A fast learner, Phelps. We might get along after all. much as I do. I'll be holding a press conference once the autopsy is being completed. I have two of my finest investigators on the case, fresh from bringing down the sword of justice on the crazed sex... Captain, aren't Mendes. there similarities between this murder and the murder of Celine Henry? And of Elizabeth Short, for that so you don't matter. believe there's a crazed sex killer at large boys, preying on women? Boys, be sensible. We have the greatest police force in all the world with the greatest scientific investigators at our disposal. How can any killer continue to beat that? Be advised. We keep the gas chamber at San Quentin primed for the sons of Cain who continue to believe they can take a life in the city of angels. Yeah, right. Any new leads in the Dahlia case? Run along, boys, and let these officers get to work. We have God's work to do here, and it can't be delayed. 
What do we have, Captain? Another woman sacrificed. Blame. Speak to Carruthers. I want daily reports, gentlemen. Detective, I was first on scene. You find her, Gonzalez? Not me. A family out for a stroll. I was first reporting. Can you show me the body? It's under the pepper tree, this way. Jesus. They're in these parts. Can't be much help to you, Phelps. Here she is. Oh, Jesus. Similar remote. To what? The Dahlia? I don't think so. Celine Henry. That's a closed case. This is probably another sad sack who lost his temper with a broad who wouldn't put out. Are you a suspect, Rusty? Watch your mouth, Phelps. Mm, yeah. All I'm saying is we've got enough to do without reopening closed cases. Talk me through it, Mal. Severely battered, on display. Footprints would indicate that she has been stomped. Size of the footprints would seem to indicate a smallish men's shoe. What size shoe did Mendez wear? You finished? No, I'm not. At a glance, I would say strangulation was the cause of death. I'll need to do further tests for semen. Angry boyfriend. If they were married, they'd be at home. Not humping out here in Lover's Lane. You mind if I examine the body? Be my guest. Look at your mark, it's very distinctive. I'll do some comparisons back at the lab and get back to you. God. Looks like she was tied up. It does at first, but that would leave a mark on her other wrist, too. I think her watch might have been torn off. Another What's this on? mark? A cut on a finger. Fourth finger, left hand. A wedding or engagement ring. Violently removed. The stomping angle in the Henry case, was it reported in the press? Sure was. Every detail a copycat would want was there in the story. We have a name. Can you run Deirdre Muller by R and I? Back in a second. Teacher said money. They didn't steal money. If the motive was robbery, why not take the money? Another day, another dollar. Detectives, R&I says that Deidre Mahler of 130 North Bonnie Bray was reported missing this morning by her husband, Hugo Mahler. What'd I tell you? Just grab the husband, take him downtown, and work him over. We could have this wrapped up by lunchtime. What about not making assumptions and going on the evidence? But there's still something else. What the fuck? Very missing. Oh, what are you looking at? What are you looking at? Bitch, there's an I didn't do the all the clues found. Ugh. Find anything interesting? I don't know. No, I looked there. I guess 
I did it? What the fuck? Okay. I'm missing something. It didn't do the... Da -da -da -da. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, here. Oh, no. It doesn't appear to be connected. What is that? What is this? Maybe. No, fuck. No. everything oh oh here see there we go I was gonna say I didn't I said it didn't make the sound there we go god excuse me why is it from your pictures Detective, I just can't find it. God, why we park so far away? Oh, he's already in there. What the heck? You didn't knock it there that fast. It's ominous, sad music. Still might be some play in the boyfriend angle. I thought we were on our way to lock up the husband. If it doesn't work out, that is. Deirdre Muller has suffered enough. More than enough. You shouldn't make disparaging comments about her without even the slightest inkling of what she was like. Yeah. She was a woman, wasn't she? <gasps> well, around about my third divorce, I realized women might not be the pure angels we imagined. Oh, fuck. You're married, ain't you, Phelps? Don't make any insinuations about my wife. Hey, she's a woman. She's the mother of my children. <laughs> you're a father, Cole? But don't tell me your eye don't bend. This conversation is over. Jesus Christ. All units, officer detail. 211 and shots fired. 391 Broadway, Mallory's Cafe. 391 Broadway. Unit to handle code 3, identify. We're taking the next left. God, all of our partners are like sexist, racist assholes. I mean, we're kind of racist too. I don't know if we're sexist. What kind of sexist? He's made some remarks. God, we are suck. I do not appreciate that. God. God, we've been around this bend on multiple times. I tried to see if I could honk my horn. Take the next right. Well, we can't. Take the next right. Really? Okay. And left. Well, we didn't need Easy. that stuff anyways. That stuff was an eyesore. So I did the job the government wouldn't do and got rid of it! Just ignore this turn. City Council didn't do nothing. It's left at the next intersection. Mala residence. Oh my gosh, I can smell those airwakes that I put in down here. In the basement. We needed a new one. And it's like summer breeze. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Is your father home? He'll be home soon. He's been out looking for mommy. What's your name, miss? Michelle Eloise Mahler. Can we come in? I suppose so. 
Thank you. Could you have a seat for me, Michelle? Uh... We're going to have a look around. I was going to say, don't say, P.S., your mom's dead. He'll be back any moment. Just sit tight. Incidental. I couldn't even read it in your nature. No, no, we don't want to look at it. explain everything when he gets back, okay? So there's nothing to worry about. Nope. Nothing in the fridge. It's the kid's room. What the fuck? No. She plays the violin. I don't think this is any use to us. Oh, okay. But... Work boots. Size eight. It's kind of small for a guy, isn't it? Elgin wristwatch. Probably the same one snatched from her body. Boy, we're gonna. I hope we're not gonna be like kid. Your mom's dead, and not wait for the parent. Fake no sign of a parent. wedding ring. Hmm. Oh, okay. Guess that sound says that's all we got to look for. All right, lady, little girl. We gotta be gentle. Is this about mommy? Daddy is trying to find her. Please tell me she's okay. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, Michelle. Oh, God! Your mother is dead. <sighs> Do you think you could answer a few questions no, for us? Oh, she probably can't! I could try. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Some she's of your mother's jewelry was like, missing. Oh, yeah, I guess. Can you describe her things? Ring, a watch. I never paid much attention to that stuff. I know it's painful, Michelle, but this may be important. She wore a wedding ring? Mommy chose it herself. A rose gold wedding band and a matching diamond and ruby engagement ring. She wore a watch? Yes, a yellow gold Elgin watch. Daddy bought it for her birthday. A fight. It was kind of a makeup present. <laughs> when did you last see your mother? Yesterday afternoon. I went to a dance at Belmont High. Mommy was supposed to pick me up, but she didn't show. So what did you do then? I was upset. Daddy came instead. I feel like she's. No, oh, she looked down. Ooh, I don't fucking know. That's all you knew? Oh, it's 5046. I'll say good. Fuck! Oh, fuck! I'm good! around the school for quite a while. What happened with your father? I don't know. Oh, that was right? Oh. I called and called and finally he answered. He came straight away then. Oh. That was... Was that you the right? That was an accident. I'm gonna say good cop. Oh, shit. Okay. Your mom and dad are uh, happily well, married? Well, that was a good accident. What are you saying? Of course they are. Oh, she looked off kind of pissed. I don't think they are. Sorry, Chan. They weren't happy, were they, Michelle? Did your father ever hit your mother? Just the once. Just 
said she would leave him if he ever did it again. He bought her a brooch pin to make up for it. And he always wore her golden butterfly. Thanks, Miss Muller. Oh, three! Yeah! You've been very brave. Hey! Hey! What gives? Daddy, hey. the police are room, here. Please, I'll talk to the police. Daddy, pull me his gun. Go to your room, young lady. She's not even out of school. You can't come in here interrogating her like she's your some kind of... Your wife was found murdered this morning. Found? What the... But, but she only... Hmm. We have some questions that we would like to ask you. Sure, yeah. Yeah, I'll do my best. We've got some footprints. What size shoe do you wear, Mr. Yeah, Muller? Yeah, we wear an eight. Why do you ask? Boop, it's routine, sir. Simple process of elimination. Mm. Nines, I think. Bullshit. I'm pre- wait. I said it was eights, right? Yeah. You are size eight, you liar. Why are you lying to me, Mr. Muller? Why would I lie to you at a time like this? Because you wear eights? That's funny. The work boots we found here are size eights. Why lie about it if you've got nothing to hide? Because I always get teased about the size of my feet. <laughs> you know, small feet, small... Always been true in my experience. <laughs> you phoned in a missing persons report this morning? Yeah, that's right. Uh, my wife didn't come home last night. She left around... She left around 9.30. Uh, Michelle was out at dance. She called me to let me know that Deidre didn't turn up. Did your wife ever go out by herself to bars, nightclubs? No. What are you, what are you suggesting? You suggesting my wife's loose? <laughs> now is not the time for you to be pushing me, mister. Your daughter said you were having an argument. We argued about who would pick up Michelle. I worked a full day. I wanted to come home, put my feet up. I can, I, I know the feeling. I know the feeling. So you were here all night. You stayed in while your wife went out to pick up your daughter? Yes, that's correct. Uh, no, she said you, she called and called you and you didn't answer. You should come clean if you're having an affair or if there's something going on. I told you I was here. Were you saying I wasn't? Yeah, your daughter said, what is it? That's it. Huh. So why did you take so long to answer the phone when your daughter called? Okay, I went out for a while. I was, I was driving around. It's my way of relaxing. Okay, you hit her, Your so. wife was beaten and then strangled. In your case, you have no alibi and a history of violence towards your wife. That's not, that's not true, goddammit! It is true, Hugo. Mm -hmm. You're a violent man. He you did try it. to keep she a lid on me. it at home, but sometimes you lost control. Your daughter and your wife we're scared of you. You don't know anything about me. That's my evidence. Uh, what'd she say? No, I'm no, no. Oh, that's it. I know about the golden butterfly, Hugo, and how you bought your wife off the last time you heard her. She liked to spend money, all right? Dresses, uh, jewelry, her hair. It drove me goddamn crazy. Do I look like a Rockefeller? Nobody likes a cheapskate, Hugo. Getting hostile with us is a very bad idea, Hugo. I'm no murderer. Make some arrangements for your daughter, and then present yourself to Central Station for questioning. You gotta be kidding me, Phelps. Put the cuffs on it. This is an outrage. I didn't kill my wife. Your daughter is in the next room, Muller, so I'm giving you a break. Don't make me change my mind, and don't make me come looking for you. Hmm. We should go back in there and bust his ass. One, we need to break his alibi, check phone records, canvas the neighbors. Two, we have motive of domestic violence, which probably goes for half the men in L.A. Exactly. Three, we have no evidence tying him to the crime scene. Oh, hello, lady, hello. hello. Detective. Hello. Hello, yes, don't hit me. Okay. Yes, ma'am, hello, yes. Yes, ma'am. I heard the terrible news over the radio. Oh, and God. you can help us with our inquiries? Yes, sir. They had a row last night. 
I heard Mrs. Muller screaming. Did you see Mrs. Muller come home late last night at all? No, not at all. I did see Mr. Muller put something in the incinerator earlier this morning, though. I told you he was our guy. Now let's get this bum downtown and into a cell. Look, there he is now. Oh, that bitch running! What are you doing? Oh, no, he's not running. What are you doing? Papers. Solve that piece. What Step away from the incinerator. Okay. Oh, Don't let him get away. Okay, but no shooting. We need this guy to make the case. Okay. Oh. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, tap it faster! Oh, get his ass! Got you! Oh, got ya. Asphalt jungle? What's that mean? She's still talking about things suspect. Okay. You in trouble now. Oh, you burning evidence. Uh, this oh, doesn't look good, Hugo. No, that one has got blood on I, it. I can explain the blood. Get him booked in at Central, officer. Then put him in an interview. Oh, that man has flowers. He's chasing right. that lady. And inform the captain. Yes, sir, detective. Is there someone you can call, miss? I, I don't. You need somewhere to stay, Michelle. You have other family? Grandparents? Aunts or uncle? Call Aunt Helen, but she lives in Bakersfield and... Call her. We're gonna get someone down here from Juvenile Hall to talk to you in the meantime. Poor kid. We ought to get some uniforms down here, clean up, take care of the kid. I need an address. So it's not wrapped up. We gotta go with the following. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Oh, I can hear her crying. I don't fucking blame her. Phelps, badge twelve forty seven. Phyllis, help us. How can I help, Detective? I need an address on a Belmont High School. Checking for you, Detective. Belmont High, one five seven five West Second Street. Thanks, ma'am. Explain. Galloway, Homicide Division, badge number 564. Go ahead, Detective Unit. Can we get Ray Pinker and a technical services team to a house at 130 North Bonnie Bray Street? And send someone down from Juvenile Hall to look after a young lady. Roger, 11K. Inform Detective Phelps that the coroner has a report waiting. Please board downtown when he's available. Got it, KGPL. I'm surprised, you know. I didn't make the husband for it. Always make the husband, Phelps. Nine times out of ten, it's the closest person to the Vic who does the deed. That's true. God knows I've wanted to kill some wives in my day. Oh, Lex parsimonii. What? The law of parsimony. Occam's razor. The simplest explanation is most likely the correct one. You know, you could have said that without getting all liturgical on me. I'll try to dumb things down from now on. Appreciate it. And try this one on for size. Rusty's razor. How's that go? You blame the guy that's banging her. Ah, of course. The famous Lex Ignoramus. Closes cases, Cole. Puts a lot of people away, that one. Any central unit of possible 288 at Belmont High School, 1575 West 2nd Street. Stand by for further unit to handle identify code 2. 11K to KGPL. Oh, we'll take the 288. Go ahead with the further. Lurker. Fabric over. We have to I go. I told you, I can't Saturday. I'm busy. Busy where? You're going on another drive with Baby Gardner, aren't oh, you? He has the same hat as the guy. So what if I am? Go, Phelps. I'll take the car and see if I can cut him off. 
fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Oh, sir, I think it's you! You're the murderer! You're wearing the same hat! Uh, uh, oh, we're not gonna fall. Come here, bitch. Oh, I'm gonna get your ass. Come here. Run! What are we in the army for if we can't catch him? Ugh! Run! Oh, uh, he's gonna run up the stairs, you bitch! Why are you on your stairs? There he is, all right. Oh, oh fuck! Oh, he's over there. Uh, uh. This music is tap, 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 tap. It's not gonna happen. Move, lady. Who could have assisted? Oh my god! Oh my god! Let's go! You gotta tire out sometimes, sir. Oh, I got your ass now! Oh, get him, get him, get him! Tap, 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 tap. Uh! tap, 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 faster! Oh, we almost got him! He's right there! He's right there! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, we're never gonna catch him! Rusty, where are you? I can't. There he is. That's far enough, freak. Ah. You move a muscle and you're a dead man. Car Ooh, not King. Oh. Car 11K, Car 11 King, come in. 11K, go ahead. your name who's asking I am do this the easy way yeah or the hard way yeah name's and Eli I, Rooney I like you've the been in trouble way. with the law before Eli some what are you doing Ooh. around here I like to keep an eye on the show yeah Strictly creepy paternal. eye is it Eli don't sass me boy. boy a woman was abducted here last night Eli and murdered and I would love to make you for that you okey motherfucker well I wouldn't know nothing about that a woman you say I like him a little younger than that. Turn out your pockets, Eli. Now, why would I do that? Because I'm about to break your fucking skull, Eli. <gasps> he gets You're under the arrest, Eli. Brooch. You're in very deep trouble. Get some backup down here, Rusty. We need to get this one downtown and into a cell. Yeah, we got your I'll ass. tell them we got a ki kitty reaper. Yep, you sick fuck. Get in there. What time did you see the person park the car? Late last night, after school social, maybe 1 a.m. I've been keeping a good eye out lately. We've had problems with the child molester. Him. Eli Rooney. We've met him. Filthy son of a bitch. He was here yesterday before the dance. Was it him you saw park the car? I don't know, sir. Oh I'd like God. to say yes, but the truth is it was pretty dark. Would you say Rooney is violent? Yes, sir. I would say so, yes. Thanks for your help. Thanks, sir. Oh. oh, boy. Blood and skin samples. We better get Ray Pinker out here. The overalls are stenciled HM. Muller is a mechanic. I wonder what Eli does for a living. It's from a Chrysler. Could be important. Call Central. Oh my god, the phone's all the way over here. They just ran a marathon. Now I gotta run all the way over here to get to the phone. Oh my god. Phyllis, I need you. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? I need interrogation set up at Central for both suspects being held in the Mahler homicide case. Certainly, Detective. I'll get in touch with the watch commander. 
Thank you. Okay. Let's get to the... Where are we going? More gray? Or the police station? Well, we're probably gonna want to use... We gotta go look at our evidence! Oh, get in the car. I say we make Rooney for this. I think we should lay it on him. He was near the car, he had her jewelry, the DA will love him for it. Even if he didn't do it? Who cares whether he did it? You have kids, Phelps? He needs to be taken permanently out of harm's way. And we let Muller slide? For a while. He gets a free pass for now. I don't know about this. My gut says Muller. We caught him trying to destroy evidence in his backyard, and that was his car with the bloody tools in it. I never said it wasn't Muller. Hell, he probably killed his wife, deprived that poor kid of a mother. But he's not in immediate danger to anyone else. Rooney's a threat to every kid at bat. He's a peeper rescue. We can pick him up for something else. You really want to run that risk? If we survive this, it's going to be a miracle. We'll keep on going. You hit drive safe. Keep on straight. I guess I should have my siren on. Go right through here. I need you to take a left at the next oh, corner. God. Get out of my way. <laughs> oh god, it's gonna have to be like, which one? Which one? Gosh, look at her butt. <sighs> Hello, gentlemen. Phelps, Rusty, Hello. thanks for coming. Can you blood type the shoes that we bagged and see if they're a match? Sure. It'll all be in the report, but I'm assuming you want the details now? Please. Cause of death is strangulation? Correct. Uh, take a look at the samples on the bench. That one looks kind of... What are the normal uses for that kind of rope? On boats? Mooring lines. Mm. Correct. Although Ray says that they're sometimes used as bell ropes in churches. Mm. Very interesting. Oh, well, it doesn't match. It's the bottom one that matches, it looks like. So are we looking for a, a sailor or a minister? Well, in my experience, sailors seem to have the greater libido. Was Mrs. Muller criminally attacked? No external or internal traces of semen. Thanks, Mal. Anything else comes up, you let us know. The shoe prints? Size eights, very similar to the impressions from the Henry case. Now, who do we remember who got caught in bloody size eights? I think we have our bird. Hmm. 
We've got to nail this guy. Okay, if you're finished jawing, we need to get moving. Music. Roll. Take the next right. Not exactly the happiest of places, the coroner's office. Carruthers is a good man, professional, diligent. If you're working with a pro, it's easy to overlook the grim realities of a place like that. Funny job, that, the coroners. How so? You know, you don't want them enjoying their work too much. The wrong kind of man can get off and lonely wearing around a gentle corpse. Rusty, that's like something out of the pulps. You've been reading the same ones as me? I thought you were usually too drunk to get through a magazine. You know, if I close one eye and squint, you can just about make out the print. Woo! Alright. You better not go soft on me in here, Phelps. We'll work the evidence, Rusty. Let him do the rest. Are they ready? Bowler's in two and the pervert's in one. Get in there and get a conviction. Oh, fuck. I got a pick? What the hell? Okay, so... We have to pick one? Was in what, what was in which Can we one? discuss this later? Who was in this one? Fuck, where am I? Who am I? What do I do? Straight through the red light. Said she never saw it. Shh. Oh, we want this guy. Alright, this is where Hello! Here's where we stand, Hugo. Your next door neighbor heard screaming coming from your house. You were burning your blood-stained shoes. You have no one who can confirm your whereabouts last night. Your daughter says you're a violent man. We have everything we need to send you to death row. And all you have to say for yourself is, I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill her. Give me that lie test. I can prove it. Why did you burn your shoes, Hugo? Because I knew you'd never believe me. Uh, oh. Believe what? It's rabbit's blood. A guy at work brought him in and I helped him skin him. Hmm. Do you know anything about ropes, Hugo? As much as the next man. I, I was a scout. I learned some more in the army. You look a little nervous. You learned to strangle with the rope in the army? With rope 
with uh, my bare hands, but mainly with wire. I learned a lot of things in the army, but I, I still didn't kill my wife. For argument's sake, what type of rope would you use? If I had to, I would use a triple braid. Less flex, easier to control. We found your wife's car. Someone parked it at the school late last night. Do you have anything to say about that? It wasn't me. Where do you keep your work clothes? I keep them at work in my locker. Then there's no, there's no, there's in there, those overalls are in the back, right? Enough lies, Hugo. Your overalls put you at the scene of the crime last night. My overalls are in the laundry of my house. Green overalls, blood stained, with the initials HM found in the trunk of your wife's car. They can't be mine. Why, Hugo? Because if they were yours, they'd be in the incinerator too? Your wife was beaten with a tire iron, Hugo. An appropriate choice of tool for a mechanic. I know nothing about any tire iron. Well, that's a lie. You're lying, Hugo. You're gonna have to come clean on this. You got no proof. Your wife drove a Chevrolet, Hugo. What make of car do you drive? A Chrysler Airflow. So I guess that explains why the tire iron that killed your wife came from a Chrysler. Mm. I need to talk to the other guy. Mouthpiece tore strips off me at the grand jury. Case got thrown out. Now the DA wants my head. Where's the other one? Another one? I'm just praying the prince comes through so I can nail this son of a bitch. Boys, you've really come through this time, haven't you? Huh? What? Captain, uh, we were on our way to interview Eli Rooney. Yes, Phelps, I know. This particular fiend is an old acquaintance. Oh. I have tried to reaffirm his belief in a wrathful and terrible God. Whichever way it goes, I'll be dealing personally with him. Okay. Need a drink. Hello, mother. You look like you've had it rough. You see me asking for your sympathy, boy? You're down on your luck, Eli. I have worse. My family a road kill during the Dust Bowl. But you have a job. A parolee has to have a job, correct? I have me a job down in San Pedro. I'm looking for something new. Now, what are you looking for? This place you worked have a name? Hennessy Marine. You can't miss the place. Big yellow letters HM out front. They give you any work wear, Eli? Sure. Green coverall. Dang thing was hot. Felt like I was back in the pen wearing it. You ever tie up any of your victims, Eli? It's not a nice thing to go calling them. What would you call them? I can't say. I learned a long time ago not to go talk about the things I like. Talking about it just seems to get people's dander up. Answer the goddamn question, Rooney, before I brain you. See what I mean? Short answer is yes. You have any preference regarding rope, Eli? I know a good rope from a bad rope, if that's what you mean. That's not what you mean, is it? Any old rope will do me fine. Okay. Farm boy like you, Eli, must prefer McGay for roping, am I right? I prefer braid, tie hitching braid, stays tight. You killed Mrs. Muller and stole her jewelry. That ain't so. I ain't done nothing like that. You have no job and nowhere to live by the smell of things. And you need money. 
You've been in trouble before, Eli. Who do you think a jury will believe? I've been in trouble for other things, but I ain't never killed no one. I saw that car coming to the parking lot late last night. Man got changed there and put his coveralls in the trunk. I saw him drop the butterfly in the lamplight and he strolled out, cool as you like. And I went over and I picked it up. What size boot do you wear, Eli? Kind of like anything I can get my hands on. I'm wearing 11s. You're maybe 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, tops. And you wear size 11s? I don't think so, Eli. That might be on the large side. Maybe 10s. Maybe 8s. Now that I come to think of it. Why punish children with your iniquity, Eli? You think I was never punished? You must know God. what you're doing is evil. Well, son, nobody's perfect. You're as good as done, Mr. Rooney. All it will take now is some paperwork. Hmm. So, I mean, it seems like clearly the husband did it. But he's such an asshole. Alright, let's go fucking charge the... I think it's the husband. But I gotta make in the car in the end. I'm not saying another thing until I've seen an attorney. Fuck, okay. It was his... Uh... I mean, he clearly... Uh... I want to say it's him, but I feel like it's too easy. charge his ass. Oh my god, I don't know. I think it's him. I, I mean, all this stuff's in his car. I mean, that's right. You know what? We're gonna charge him. Other guy, we'll bust him later. All right. Hugo Muller, I'm charging you with the murder of your wife. You'll be arraigned and taken before a grand jury. Book him, Rusty. With pleasure. I think it was him. to say I'm disappointed. What? Why? I stood in front of a troop of reporters and made promises. Promises of swift and fearful retribution and you bring me an armful of vagary and happenstance. You made the department look bad, lad. Do it again and your career as a policeman will come to an abrupt what the and fuck? ignominious end. You two are back on the streets. Find street criminals, rouse them, beat them and restore some fervor to your police work. Your next case will come when you've revived my faith in your abilities. Now get out of here! What the hell? Why are you pissed off at me? He did it! What do you want me to get the other guy? God. Three stars! Oh my god, this sucks. It's because I didn't pick the other guy, but that guy clearly did it! I'm so dumb. Belt! We captured two regular army. Lieutenant! Belt, we've been over this. That sniper barely missed you back on the beach. Until the mission is over, there'll be no more saluting or signs of rain. I'm in charge here, Medier! Do you wish to interrogate the prisoners? No, they're beat. Why they look so sullen? 
wondering why we haven't killed them yet. There is no greater shame than being taken prisoner. Get this golden boy, I just seem to know what he's doing. Not got the no kai so to namai o nana te kutsu. Ai yonji yon daibu tai shizuku heida. Kishima, nane sama da to? Umutarunda. See that boy, he slapped that jap right upside the head. It was merely to remind him of his place. His shame was the tone of voice that he used with a superior. I respect the Japanese corporal. Respect, we're here to kill the sons of bitches. Do you know why we are fighting the Japanese private? With respect, sir, these bastards attacked Pearl Harbor. And why did they attack Pearl, private? Because they hate the U.S. of A. and our way of life. They attacked the U.S. because we cut off their oil. What would oh. we do if another country denied us the gas to run our cars? Okay, cool. I'm liking you a little more now. Ah, oh, Phelps. I was just discussing with Finbar here how well you were doing. Have a seat. Yeah, my real name. And you can just forget all about it. Mm. You boys have a new case. Okay. A poor Hispanic woman murdered near City Hall and left lying naked in an alleyway. No, oh, Jesus again. Another naked woman, sir? Yes. We seem to have had quite a run of them since the Dahlia fiend first struck. Phelps is politely trying to hint that he thinks the Mendez case is hokey. Well, young Phelps, you win some and you lose some in police work. You're happy with the Mueller case, sir? Over the moon, boys! The DA couldn't be more pleased with the evidence, the witness, and the lack of an alibi. Now, get out there and catch me another sinner. Well, now you're happy. You were bitching at me before. God, we all y'all so God, y'all so hot and cold. Taxi, I was not hailing a taxi. You have the address? It's the alley off Aliso between Los Angeles and Alameda. You're kidding. Move. The next one will be opposite Central Station. Count yourself lucky, though. Most guys would kill to land a case so close to their desk. Yeah, it means they can pop in to hit the office supply of hooch whenever they need it. You know, that ain't a bad idea. That is not a bad idea at all, Phelps. Okay, at the next corner, go right. Calling all cars. Oh, fuck. I am drunk. <laughs> I am drunk. Detectives, they're ready to start the show. I'll take you through. All right. God, oh, clearly we're not doing a good job because the same freaking person is doing everything. They're all the same thing. Can't all have. Oh, for many... Christ's sake! Brothers, Pinker. The cause of death is pretty apparent. We thought we'd best wait for you when you're ready. Lacerations Ew. on the neck would indicate a great deal of force. Spit out that blood spit out her neck. That's gross. Antonia. Only 21 years old. But why the library card? Did he want us to find it? Yeah, he did. Another wedding ring torn from the finger. No skin under the fingernails. Kiss, Kiss the, the blood, blood, BD. Fuck. The evidence in the Mueller case was solid. I'm not convinced about Mendez. 
The best way to get away with murder is to pin it on somebody else. I'll bet a month's salary this is a copycat. Strangled, battered, Yeah, naked. yeah, yeah, we know the M.O. So does every jerk who kills his wife and girlfriend looking for a way out. I've spoken to Brown. He still believes the Dahlia perp has medical experience. Four women, all murdered, all put on display, all with messages. Mueller had no message. Look, Phelps, this is getting us nowhere. Anything for us to go on, Mel? Head injuries from contact with road, bruising from a small man's shoe, further blunt force trauma to the occipital region at the base of the skull. Could have been fatal, but clear signs of strangulation would seem to rule it out. Lipstick appears to be a similar color to the other cases. Yeah. I'll see if I can nail down a brand. If she took a blow to the head like the others, she was probably unconscious when strangled. Is that it? You catch all the good ones. Over there. May as well follow the trail. Antonia. Huh. Same as the library card. Sit on the back of the head. And dragged. I did. I didn't want that. Fuck! I want the shoe. Proximity to the scene, plus the blood stains. No way is this coincidence. We kept the area pristine for you boys. Let's check it out. Thanks, guys. A key. House keys strung up like bait on a hook. Oh, they're fucking with us. You think he's trying to lead us somewhere? Probably all the way to City Hall. That It's got to be a code or a cipher. Two five three. So I'm missing some shit. What am I missing? something on her? Her bag? Oh. Never the same, are they? I looked at that already.
serious? Am I missing something? What am I missing? Oh no. Oh, what the fuck was that? On it goes. something X no oh that's why where are you taking us oh I missed that Antonio, is that her name? Empty. Where is all of this meant to be taking us? He clearly wants us to find these things. He's left them for us. There you go, Phelps. We got a new M.O. I told you it wasn't our guy. Or he might just be getting more confident. Yeah, I don't know. Enameled and gold-plated. This was precious to her. Okay. Oh, what the fuck, man? Where are we going? What's a, what's this, this is like a Trail freaking scavenger up. hunt. from the finger and hung up here. What's the significance? Some more blood. Ew. Looks as though the killer was decorating with this. Oh, looky here, a bag. Son of a bitch, once her identified. Mrs. Antonia Maldonado, 712 North Hill Street, downtown. the clues. What the fuck? That's fucked up. Alright, I guess we're going to Antonio's residence. Set us a destination. It was Mrs. Maldonado, right? That's affirmative. All right, so then there's a husband we should be looking for. Get him, we've closed the case. Ah, uh, Rusty's razor, of course. I don't want to question your tried and tested techniques, Detective Galloway, but doesn't the DA require sound casework before he'll close the book? Not if he's got a confession. And, you know, there's ways of getting it. I'm sure. Yeah, there's...
and a right. Knock, knock, knock. It's a boarding house. Wait just a moment. Okay. I'm sorry. Can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Detective Phelps and Galloway. Does Mrs. Maldonado live here? Yes, she does. I'm Mrs. Barbara Lapente, the owner of this boarding house. Is there a problem? She's I'm dead. I'm afraid so, ma'am. Do you mind if we come in? Is there somewhere we can discuss this? Of course. Follow me through to the parlor. Wipe oh. your feet as you come in, detectives. It's this way. Okay. This just... Mrs. Maldonado was found dead this morning. Dead? Oh, no. She can't be. I'm afraid she was murdered, ma'am. We need to take a look at her things. I can't believe it. A person seems so alive. <laughs> and, then and then they're, they're not. <laughs> and then they're gone. I was like, they're not. Antonia's room is upstairs. Last door on the left. Thank you. Oh we'll be back gracious. shortly. Uh, excuse us a moment, ma'am. Excuse us. Oh, which room? Hey, Cole, let's get moving. Okay, I was just looking, Jesus. Where the fuck is that? <gasps> There's been a break in. You look at that. A smashed window explains why the place looks tossed. You know how I feel about Windows Phelps. Oh fuck, what am I doing? Oh. So someone broke in using this thing instead of a crowbar. Wonder where it was taken from. Mm, I love how I just went through the window. Are you going somewhere, girl? Oh, Parsons Boarding House! That's a craziness. Like Jim Parsons. Maybe his family owned this. Okay, we have an address. Is that what this is? The Parsons boarding house? Is this where we are? Jim Parsons? Big Bang Theory? The charm bracelet wasn't among the crime scene evidence. Yeah. Oh, okay. I guess that's it. Alright, lady. Tell me what you know about this. We have some questions, ma'am, if you're up to it. Yes, detective. I'll do my best. Do you have any idea who might have wanted to hurt Mrs. Maldonado? That rat of her husband, Angel. Oh. She was serving him divorce papers. If I killed every wife to serve me papers, I'd be a mass murderer. Are you being <sighs> flippant, young man? Yeah, no, flippant. What can you tell us about Angel Maldonado? She married him when she was 17. He was cruel to her, very cruel. She was a good girl, little on the religious side, but a good girl. 
What time did Antonia go out yesterday? She left around nine. Do you know where she went? No, I, I have no idea. She was a good girl, but she didn't confide in me. Oh, you're looking down. Liar. A nosy old hag like you knows everything oh, about Jesus. the people who live under her roof. Where did she go? I think she went to a bar. She's been drinking quite a lot lately. This bar have a name? El Dorado Bar. It's a Latino place on North Los Angeles Jesus. Street. That's only a couple of blocks from where we found the body. You've had a break-in? No. That can't be true. Well, there's stuff upstairs. You're being economical with the truth, Mrs. Lepenti. What do you have to hide? I have no idea what you are talking about. So Antonia lost her keys and used an iron bar to jimmy the back window? I heard a noise in the early hours of the morning. I thought it might be a raccoon at the milk bottles. <laughs> It'd be very bad for business if this news got out. I have a reputation to protect. Antonia and her husband were estranged? Yes. She moved here after she separated from her husband two months ago. But Antonia still wore a wedding ring? She wore the wedding ring and a necklace. She always wore a religious necklace. That's about all of her jewelry. No, what about the charm bracelet? Oh, keeps your ass. What about her bracelet? I don't know anything about a bracelet. Um, in the picture. That's right, charm bracelet photo. There we go. In her wedding photo, she's displaying a charm bracelet. That thing? She never wore it. He gave it to her. She always kept it in that wooden jewelry box. Thanks, ma'am. You've been very helpful. Pay a call to that husband of hers. Lock him up and Throw away the cake. We can either front Angel, seeing as the finger's pointing right at him, or we could check out the Eldorado bar. Well, let's go and see first the Eldorado bar in case people can pinpoint some more stuff on him. Like they saw him together. He doesn't know we're onto him. Can you drive to this one? Yes! I don't want to drive. A nosy old hag? Ha! And I thought I was coming on strong with the ex-wives line. Sometimes you have to be firm to get the information you need. God damn it, ain't that the truth? No, yeah, but you didn't have to go and do that. Jeez. Can I get you? LAPD. Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Diego Aguilar. How can I help? You worked the bar last night? Yeah. Me and a temp guy from the agency. Did you have a woman in here last night? 21 years old, Hispanic, drinking heavily? We have a lot of ladies like that in here. But yeah, I know who you mean. Antonia Maldonado. Oh, what did she do? She was murdered last night. Oh, shit. Do you oh, know her shit. well? Was she a regular? Hell no. But she was good and tight last night, complaining about her old man. Mm. It's a story you get used to working in a bar. She was so hammered last night, she left a letter on the bar. Oh, what's... I'll see show it? you. Can I see it? A waitress! Can I have another spoon? It's her husband. Divorce papers? Did you open them? No need to. She was shouting about it and waving the letter around. Said she was going to show him.
Can you remember what jewelry she was wearing? She had a necklace. Some kind of religious thing, I think. The temp guy would have more of an idea. She took the beer he served her and cried into it all night. What time did she leave? Can't say for sure. Bullshit. Where did she go? Yeah. Give me something or the LAPD will start getting interested in this place. Take it easy. She wanted a cab, okay? And my phone was out of order. The closest one I knew was at the fruit market across the street, so I suggested she try there. She seemed reluctant. Did Antonia say where she was going when she left? She said she was going to serve the papers on the husband. Said that would take the smile off his face. If you ask me, she was scared. And the drink was for Dutch courage. You look like you're telling the truth. She attract any interest? An extremely drunk young woman? What do you think? She managed to scare them off, though. Thanks. You've been a big help. No problem. Hey, get the guy, will you? We'll do our best. One last question. What size shoe do you take, Mr. Aguilar? A broad nine. I have wide feet. He thinks he's a what bit of a gangster, but he treats me nice. Oh, order. Say, honey, what time do you get off waiting tables? Why is this door open? Sir, do you work here? Sorry, pal, just making deliveries. From where? Just pick fruit market across the street. A fruit market delivers here? Yeah, sure does. The Mexes love a little slice with their tequila. Fine, thanks. What the fuck? That was weird. Why was that door randomly open? Glitching? What? Why would we go there? Okay, what a- okay. That was weird. Why would I go there? See no shit? You know the way. You can drive. Guess if I want some fruit! How about we drop in on the husband instead? See if your gut is right. I'll take a bar over a husband every day of the week. Hmm. That's weird. Maldonado is in apartment 304. This could turn ugly. Forget about knocking. Let's take our boy by surprise. All right. Boom! Police! Hey, what the fuck? LAPD, motherfucker. You're under arrest. <gasps> ah, look out! I got up. Stand down now. Now look, I don't want no trouble. What do you think, Joe Lewis? Some decent shots in there. Cuff these sons of bitches, Phelps. That's who? LAPD, you two are under arrest. Call for some backup, Finbar. <laughs> Finbar. Hmm. 
Galloway, badge number 564. I need a prowl car at the apartment building 330 North Hill Street. Two suspects being transported to Central. Your wife has been murdered, Angel. How do we know that was him? Antonia? No, it's not. Oh, God, no! Where were you last night, Angel? I was here with my brother the whole night, God damn it! You think I'd kill my own wife? I don't know, man. We gotta see. We should get the whole place going over, and then talk to the neighbors. And Phelps, I don't care that you just got smacked in the head. You don't call me Finbar. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I guess nothing in here. What's this? Not sure this means much. Just picked fruit. Hey, market. that's that guy works at. I wonder if Angel gets all his groceries from this place. Okay, I guess that place might be of interest. The El Dorado must be a family favorite. Okay. Oh, there's blood on your short. This will take some explaining. Yes. Oh. Okay. Maybe one of the neighbors took notice of Angel's movements. He's got no alibi. He's toast. Oh, okay. about you what do you want LAPD we're making some inquiries make it quick I worked nights so you weren't home last night no I was at work you know nothing about mrs. Maldonado fighting with her husband those two they're always screaming the place down mm. thanks okay how about you No good. Nobody here. How do you know? Okay, how about you? Oh, oh Jesus! Hey, sorry about that. I I'm playing with my kids. <clears throat> LAPD, were you here last night? Yeah. My uh, wife and I are separated, and uh, I had the kids last night. I put them to bed early and went to bed myself. Thanks. right in there. Hello. LAPD, ma'am. Did you hear a disturbance last night? Yes. Yes, I did. Oh. Mrs. Maldonado lit out of here and her husband ran out after her. You mm. saw this, Miss? Aranda. I had the door open a crack. Did you see Mr. Maldonado come back inside after he ran out? No. I didn't. Mm. Thanks. We'll be in touch. I kept thinking you were going to call that one a nosy old hag, too, Phelps. I know, right? Well executed restraint. I'm executing restraint right now, Finbar. This is fucking bad. Phyllis! Phyllis! Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge 1247. Can I help to talk to? Are there any messages for me? Message from Captain Donnelly, Detective. Your oh. presence is requested urgently at Central Station. A oh. new letter from the Dahlia Killer has been found. What? Thanks. Holy crap, that was a new lady. That wasn't Phyllis. That was Angela. I'm using the office names apparently now. Oh my god, we gotta go.
Well, we gotta get there fast as we can, Black Dahlia. Come on, Finbar! Oh, we went out the back way. Ugh. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Oh, <laughs> Siri. Think there's anything to the divorce angle? I've been through three films. And no big deal. After a while, you just numb yourself to the experience. But Angel, he's a young Latino man. It would hurt his sense of who he is. He'd see himself as a failure, a woman taking control over his life. Then she fronts him and he snaps. Works for me. That makes Angel a killer as well as a piece of shit. Interesting. Captain is waiting for you downstairs with Pinker. What? Like in the basement? Oh my god, this is where you kill me. Where? Oh, down here. Go down faster! Oh my god! Yes. This way? Boys, come on in. Phelps, have you met Dennis Brown? Pleased to meet you, sir. His information is confidential and doesn't leave this room. The new letter was left in the back seat of a cab. The driver thinks it was put through the window and not left by a customer. We're checking all the spares back 24 hours regardless. Good. Like the previous letters, it's been assembled from headlines and typed from the Times and Examiner, then glued to an envelope. What is the other note? This one? That's also new. A poem, hand-typed. Do you mind if I take a look? Go ahead. We've been over both documents pretty carefully. They've been wiped with gasoline, so there's no chance of prints. Hmm. That's the I message from the Selene Henry case. You would not give a square deal. Fuck you, BD Tech. Keep upon thy soul by virtue of this curse. All of these will die be holding good both of them out of the same device and die of this. Space and time. That's why we called you in. Do you think it's original? Not unless he's a genius. You like this nut job's poem? No, I like Shelley. It was written at least 100 years ago. Shelley. Sure, I knew that. You see, Finnis? I told you this lad was a bright boy. Sure, but what does it got to do with the case? Frankenstein. Prometheus Unbound. Prometheus was a titan, a superhuman character who defied the gods to bring fire to humanity. Yep. The Dahlia guy believes he's Superman. Your guess is as good as mine. One thing for sure is that he's educated. What about the link to the Henry case? He could have got the wording from the papers. As you said, he is fiendishly clever and takes pleasure in taunting us. What's happening with the Maldonado case? We have the husband in custody. We haven't interviewed him yet. Went upstairs then, lads, and see if we can break him. Hmm. I don't know. Something... Something's... It's obviously not a Black Dahlia killer. Let me in first. Oh, fine. Improved your attitude, Angel? What do you want me to say? I was with Antonia the night she died, but she left the apartment, and that was the last time I saw her. 
So your wife paid you a visit last night. What time was that? Right, let's see if you Late lie about chasing after. Midnight, maybe? She didn't stay long. <laughs> You're lying, Angel. You went after her. Yeah. I think you killed her. You're out of your mind. My brother will tell you I was at home. Well, the lady... Where is it? That was the last thing, right? Yeah, there it is. We have a witness who confirms that you were arguing, that your wife ran out, that you followed her, and didn't come back. I know this looks bad, but it's not true. We argued, all right, but she went out, and I went out after her, and she jumped in a car on the corner. There was a car waiting for her? Can you describe the driver? Not the driver. It was too dark. But the car, it was a brown Ford Coupe. You and your wife weren't getting along. She was divorcing you. Is that why you killed her? We fought, yeah, but we weren't getting a divorce. Mm, he didn't know. You deny killing your wife? Oh, shit. Of course I deny it. Why would I kill my woman? Oh, fuck. I missed that one. Ugh, the divorce papers, idiot. When we found your wife, her jewelry had been removed. I wasn't thinking on that one. Was she wearing her religious medallion last night? Sure. She always wore that. What about the charm bracelet? Was she wearing that? You know about that? She never wore it. She didn't like the message. She kept it locked up in that box of hers. Your wife has been brutally murdered. So how do you explain your shirt being covered in blood? You found that? I cut myself shaving. Angel, I'm not going to waste any more time on this. Give me something or I'm going to have you charged. My brother, Hippolito. He said Hippolito. some bad things about Antonia last night. So I had a soccer one. We got into it. Keep talking. She said she came from the El Dorado bar. And? It's not one of my places. We used to buy fruit at the market down the street. But the creep there was always running his eyes all over my wife. What's the name of this fruit market? Just picked fruit. Ord Street downtown. One last question, Angel. Do the words kiss the blood mean anything to you? No. Sounds sick to me. You're not in the clear by any means, Angel. You're going back into a cell. You should think about whether you have anything else you need to share with us. So this guy at the fruit stand. That bum took a swipe at me. I put him down with my sap. Fuck, I missed that one. I got too jumpy. My giant fingers, apparently. You're behind the wheel. You drive. I don't want to drive. I clearly am a danger to society. Another letter? I thought the letter was from a nut. These letters? Brown and Hanson believe they are genuine. From him. And now we sent another. You know, I really hate this fuck. This Black Dahlia guy. Have you seen the body? The fucking case just gnaws away at your gut. Hollywood. Every prom queen from every fucking hick town in America turns up here. Where do they end up? Gutted on the fucking sidewalk. Yes. Really think it's from the Black Dahlia murderer? Oh no, man. Always fresh. Nope. We went right through the thing. <laughs> the handbag was left just up there, overlooking the market. Mm. Could have come here from the start and saved ourselves a day's legwork. Jesus, that's weird, though. Sir, I'm the. Wait, you look familiar. Hey, from the bar, right? What brings you here? Oh, yeah. LAPD, Detective yeah, Phelps and Galloway. Clem Feeney, what can I do for you? Did you happen to see a young woman last night? 
21 years old, Hispanic. Sure, she came by last night. Why do you ask? She was wearing a necklace? I didn't notice. You weren't paying attention, Feeney? Hey, you're getting the wrong idea. Exactly how much fruit do you sell here after midnight, Clem? Uh, look, not much. I sell the odd bottle on the side to the after-hours crowd. Well, I don't want any trouble. I'm just trying to make a buck. The young lady arrived around midnight? Yeah, something like that. Used the phone for a cab and then left. Oh, you're looking off to the side. You already knew Mrs. Maldonado, didn't you, Clem? Sure, I met her before. She seemed like a nice lady. Her husband went apeshit one day when he caught me talking to her. She hadn't been back until last night. Where did she go from here? She wanted a cab, but I couldn't get her one. I was about to offer to drive her, but a car pulled up and she got into that. Oh, that's true. Okay, that's... Can you describe the car? Brown Ford Coupe, I think. She seemed to know the guy. Do you mind if we look around? Why would you want to do that? Because we say so. I guess you can. Don't you have to get a court order or something? I have rights. Clem? Shh. <laughs> Shut up, Clem. I don't know. Okay, I guess let me... I'll just go check the back, I guess. Wow. We were in a prohibition no stand back here. No wonder he stays here. open late at night. People have to get their vitamins. Check through this stuff before we get back out there. Like the one at the house. Oh, what's this? Oh, oh no! Why cut oh. someone who was already dead? It's a typical power thing. Once the stiff is dead, the creep usually feels they can do whatever they like. They must have seen it during the war. So what are we hiding in here? This thing needs a combination. Oh, what are those dots? It's those dots. What was it? Two, three, five? <laughs> two? No. No, two. Three, five. Right? Oh, fuck. No, it wasn't. Okay. Close. Uh... Two five three. Two five three. Why? <laughs> what? Why would he be giving us clues to people who aren't our charm bracelet? Why? This fruit stall punk gets about 10 seconds to explain before I pull his fucking arms off. Clem! What the fuck? Oh, of course you run in. Of course you run in! God damn it, get after him, Cole. I'll try to shoot out his tires. Okay, okay, Wish okay. me luck. God, he's very erratic. We all drive crazy. Oh, we're taking we out. You should have grabbed him when we had the chance, Phelps. When we had the chance, we didn't know he was our guy. Oh, shit. Woo! Don't go to sleep on me. Get me back in close. 
strange that he'd leave a trail of blood right back to his own market. Maybe he wanted to be caught. A lot of them do. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Oh, my God. He's getting cut in through. He's kind of... What? It's almost too perfect, isn't it? There's no what? such thing as too perfect. <laughs> oh, we just destroying the city, yeah. All right, shoot his tires. Hit him. Clean this asshole off the road. Keep it steady and I'll try to bust his tires. Hit him, Cole. Spit him out. Show me your hands. Oof, Jesus. You got some explaining to do. Why do you have her stuff? You're a sick man, Clem. You need help. God, I don't understand. Why would he lead it back here? Outstanding job on this case, gentlemen. The poor woman can now rest in peace. I'll pay the fiend a personal visit myself and remind him that crime in this city does not go unpunished. When they finish with him at the receiving hospital, we'll have him up before the grand jury. I have a meeting this afternoon with the mayor, Lance. I'll be sure to mention your names. Now, on your way. On your way. I don't know. It just seems it's all right to him. It's very weird. Hey, five star. Sarge, why are the guys giving it to the doggies? They're riding in trucks, numb skull, while you're marching. They look pretty badly beat up. Yeah, they do it then. Scuttlebutt says it's pretty hard going down south. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Recon always leads. How can we fail, Skip, with the shadow leading the show? Who the fuck is a shadow? Lieutenant Phelps, the shadow of death. What shadow the Jeff fuck are you me? talking about? He's a quiet fucker, Sarge. You never hear the bastard coming. You're sitting there, field stripping a cigarette, and suddenly he's there looking down on you. Why do you think we keep saluting that Jap loving son of a bitch? He's bad juju. That's enough out of you three. Bad juju? Where are you dragged up? A swamp? Good morning, gentlemen, and what a grand morning it is, too. We have just cause for celebration. Galloway and Phelps are sending another fiend to San Quentin. A nice showy trial, and he'll be strapped down with gas seeping into his tiny reptile brain. Now, to fresh business. Galloway and Phelps, the task is at hand. The address is on the hill, north downtown off Fremont Avenue. All right, we're going to wrap that up since we got two done. All right, we're on our way to being the best detective ever.